Hi, I'm here with Roy Cocciolo, broker owner of YourMortgageYourWay.ca for this week's Mortgage Minute. Hi, Roy. Hey, Vicki. <laughs> okay. So listen, let's talk about documentation this time around. I okay. mean, what happens to my documents when I give them to a mortgage broker or a bank? Where do they go? How are well, they stored? Typically speaking, uh, there's two types of documents, either originals, either email, originals that you actually bring in. Uh, you start to realize that they should never be keeping your originals. They should make photocopies and return the originals to you basically immediately, okay? okay. Uh, because that way it won't get lost or anything like that. Um, but usually, typically, when you give them to them, they do two things. One, they either keep hard copies in a file, or two, they actually store them electronically, either through Exchange or some sort of, of, of CRM that they have. So they always have to have those documents on hand. And by fiscal rules, we have to hold those documents for seven years after your renewal, or seven years from the time we actually pull your credit bureau. So brokers should always have that those documents accessible for you at any time. And what is our right like what would be my rights for getting my hands on these documentations once again and how do I get my hands on them? Well you can request your documents from your brokers at any time. They should like I said as long as you did your mortgage with them and it closed, they'll have them for about thirteen years from the time they met you. So you they should always have access to them. And if you need a copy of them you should request them and they should be able to give them to you within 24 hours depending on whether they store them electronically or they store them in a physical storage facility. Good to know. Thank you, Roy. Hey, you're very welcome. Thank you for watching this week's Mortgage Minute. For more information, visit our website at yourmortgageyourway.ca where you can find links to all our social media. Sign up to our blog, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or subscribe to this YouTube channel to get helpful advice on what's important to you and your family's financial health.